welcome to you all. Today we will discuss about DBS CAD clustering algorithm. It is a traditional popular clustering algorithm, but unlike K means it doesn't require any K number of clusters to be predefined. But instead of that, we have to find the arbitrary shaped clusters. The algorithm can be work as follows. Number one is initialization. Here, find all the points in the epsilon neighborhood. In step two of the algorithm is expanding the cluster. With the help of the core point, we can expand the network. Number three is growing the cluster. We have to grow the cluster means all data points that is near to that core of the cluster should be identified. Step 4 in algorithm is noise. The points that are not reachable from the cluster is defined as noise. Let us discuss about this DBS scan in detail. DBS scan is a density based algorithm. Here, what do you mean by a density here? The number of points that can allocated in a particular specific radius that we call as density. The core point that has more specified number of points within that EPS. From the core point, there are points that are located at the cluster. First one is border point that is a neighborhood of a core point. The border point is located near to that of core point. So that is this defined. Noise point is that that is far, far away from that of core point. So it is considered as an unwanted data. You can see that this is a core point. So this point can define a main thing in this cluster. Border point that defines the edge or border of a particular cluster. So noise point is that that is located far away from the cluster region. Two parameters to be considered are this that maximum radius of the neighborhood because based on the radius only we have to define this algorithm and the minimum point minimum points that is located in the neighborhood of that radius region so we have the neighborhood of p here in this neighborhood the distance among the points should be less than or equal to the maximum radius of the neighborhood and while in case of directly density reachable that point p is reachable from that point q with respect to both epsilon and the minimum points so the condition is that point p should belong to that particular neighborhood and another thing to be noted is the core point condition that neighborhood should be greater than that of total minimum points that we defined earlier. The density reachable and density connected. So what do you mean by a density reachable means? Here it is point P and here it is point Q. So that point P is density reachable from a core point Q through a chain of points that we call as P1, P2 up to Pn. So this is density reachable and this one is density connected. So here a point P is connected to point Q through a point O. So P and Q are density reachable through the point O. Okay, this is another example of that original points. And here the points of co points, border point, and noise points are defined. So these are all the original points in that given data set. And here you can see that this green color dots that represents the core points. Okay, then this blue color at the border that represents the border points. All the red points are far away from the cluster regions. So we can define all these red points as noise variables. They are neither the core point nor the border points. 
So as we have to determine the maximum radius and the minimum points. For that, first the kth nearest neighborhood are at same distance and the noise points have to be as far as possible from the neighbors. For an example, here the k value is 4 means so the distance of every point should be greater than that. So a graph is plotted based on the points sorted to the distance of fourth nearest neighborhood to the fourth nearest neighborhood distance. This is that EPS value that is defined as 10. Here in this algorithm, initially we have to take the cluster count as 0. Then for every point P, we have to assign a null label. Initially, the P it should be a core point. Then in case if P is a core point means a new cluster is formed. So the count is increased by 1. Then find all the density reachable points and classify them into the distinct cluster. So we have to repeat the process till all the points has been assigned. So this is the algorithm of that DBS can. So it's mainly based on the neighborhood and minimum point condition. Then the core point, border point and noise point are the main categories in this DBS scan. I hope everyone understand the concept. Meet you in the next video. Till then, it's goodbye from Vijay. Kindly like, share and subscribe the channel.